back to the floor, all in unison. I've been in radio for now about four years, and it started over in Wilberton, Oklahoma with Mountaineer Radio. Didn't know what I really wanted to do going into um, college. I knew I loved radio, and I thought that would be an amazing job to have. And ever since I put the headset on and called that first game, it was an instant love for for uh, not just sports casting, but radio in general. We, the KSSU staff members, will be training all audio production students for the station. Please check your... Uh, Brandon's a legacy. His stepmom uh, is a graduate of this department, and uh, she said, I got a guy. You're going to love him. Moving from Wilberton to Durant was a big transition, a big decision. And she, he, we did. We came to visit with his dad, and, and Brandon was... Um, was so thoughtful, so enthusiastic, so excited about broadcasting. I just figured, oh, well, let's go down to Durant and let's see what the campus is like. And I came over here, met with Del McLean, and uh, he got me all signed up that day. With you, 92 I guess I've just been blessed to have the opportunity to be here and have uh, be the assistant manager, I'd say, to U92 FM. He also is the host of a number of shows, including Double Play. He has his own Bee Gees jukebox that he does, as well as a sort of poolside uh, radio show that he does in the summer that was really great. You want new or even old music put into the system? Please He's been a broadcaster, um, an administrator, uh, helping us with FCC compliance and good production work. Last year I was actually still traveling to Wilberton to do the area football games. I had the opportunity to do that with my color commentator uh, Nathaniel Brown. Gary Hightower, he was calling a baseball game and I was being the public announcer and he said, would you be interested in doing some football? Luckily that was my alma mater and so I think I, was, I thought that's an amazing opportunity for me for a 5A school for someone 21 years old. A couple of weeks into it, Gary Hightower ended up moving to Lawton, and so that spot opened up for me, and I've had it since then. Uh, well, I met Brandon about five years ago. We've just come to know each other so well that we know what the other one's going to say. It's just a joy. He makes everything around him so much more fun. He, he's able to describe the game in a way that I haven't seen from anyone at this level. He's one of the best people I know, quite honestly sideline to the 15 to the 20 has some space to the 30 to the 35 40 taking 21 hours this semester along with doing a couple of the jobs besides that i knew that was going to be tough he is um, an incredibly hard-working young man he has a passion for broadcasting he has a passion for people and he shares those passions freely this is where i do my homework i do uh, any other special projects i'll work on info for the week coming up for uh, a Friday night football game. One of the most professional people I've ever seen in any capacity, any job. If I want to get to where I'm going to be in sports casting, I figured that's what I needed to do. Yes, he's, he's received a number of scholarships here at Southeastern um, and uh, many awards, including uh, the big award he received at OETA. It was the Gene Dillahay and William Bill I think it's William Bill Thrash scholarships, and I end up uh, receiving the Gene Dillahay scholarship. And I just thought that was a really exciting. He exemplifies the best qualities that honor those people who, who, who made those awards. I think that I'm going to try to hold that award with great appreciation and try to make the most out of it and make the family of Gene Dillahay very proud. I feel like he has matured in some ways, but in a lot of ways he stayed the same. One of the things he prides himself on is he prides himself on being a kid. He always has that fun-loving side with him, and I don't think that'll ever change with him. He also um, sort of exemplif exemplifies for me what I think is so interesting about the Choctaw Nation. Very passionate about his family, about his culture, about his history. I'm a proud Choctaw. Uh, my family's a proud Choctaw family. Grandfather is a proud Choctaw veteran. He really taught me about, you know, my Choctaw heritage and uh, what it means to be a Choctaw. And Steeped in their history and their culture and they value it and yet they've got their eye on the future. Uh, Brandon's like that as well so I feel like he really uh, represents, uh, represents the nation very well. I believe if you're passionate enough and what you want to do you will achieve it. If You just have to have the passion, you have to have the determination to get it done. Get up, be gone into the trees, a two-run home run.